Hello honey punches. I hope this finds you super well and dandy as usual and if not I'm always down for a chat over at Insta direct message or you can always send me an email too. That's an option. Um, yeah for the past couple of years now this time in December leading up to Christmas is such a roller coaster. Like there's more social engagements and more focus on like overstimulating consumerism and on top of that that there's all the questions of like who am I? What am I good for? What do I want to do with my time? That not only I'm asking myself, but like people at social gatherings ask you in you know, not that kind of way, but it sort of feels like that. And yeah, with at least in the southern hemisphere, we just finished exams and it's end of the work year for many people and it's just like a whole lot of time for thinking and that can be stressful. So if you need someone to talk to, I'm always here. Um but as the title suggests, I'm finally getting round to talking about this platform, YouTube, and my thoughts on it kind of in general. Um and like my channel and where it's at and where I wanna take it. And also my favourite YouTube channel. So it's sort of the everything YouTube video. Um, apologies, it's taking me so long to get round to it, um, but I should probably address what you're looking at, and that is some drizzly evening weather from various windows in my house, um, just because I thought it'd be nice to have that as like a relaxing backdrop instead of my face. Um, yeah, I'm actually a bit sick at the moment, so sorry if that comes through in the microphone, but hopefully this all works out and you learn a bit and you find it interesting. Um, yeah, so woo for the lovely sound of rain trickling down on windows it's one of my favorite sounds and yes hopefully you like it too so let's jump right into honey bunches and i'm starting off with my thoughts about the platform youtube and i have to admit that initially i really wasn't a fan of youtube um hence i initially started with a blog sort of a youtube channel and only migrated that um in the last year or two um but the first impression that i got from youtube is when you open it it's like a whole bunch of super popular loud fluoro bold texted thumbnails that lead to um like on the verge of shouting individuals doing challenges and like really bizarre things that is kind of apparently meant to be entertainment but it's a bit perplexing and overwhelming and just bizarre at first um so it was only really when i found the smaller quirkier side to youtube that it actually kind of appealed to me as a creative platform and i realized it could be something different from you know, the fluoro, like, six million view cinnamon challenge weird. Not, I mean, if you like them, of course, and it's all about the people behind it, right? So, of course, I was just seeing them as once off when I first sort of was trying to get my head around YouTube. Um, once you get to know people and their channel, it's all completely different. I totally acknowledge that. But for a long time, it really did feel like it was just a place for extroverted, privileged people um for a long while and i see that in kind of other channels that i really like now meaning that um when i look back at some of their earlier videos and even some of my earlier videos it, like it seems to sort of lean into this a bit like probably because they felt even only subconsciously like they had to fit into a pre-existing mold but it's refreshing to see so many people unapologetically showcase their own and often more relaxed personality in front of the screen now i think being a super duper introvert, I generally now gravitate towards creators that are not only a mega talented and good at editing and whatnot, but bring a relaxed sort of calm feeling into their videos, which makes me just so much calmer by watching them. And I think YouTube is a form of entertainment for so many people. Um, it can be a positive anxiety reducing or maybe a little bit inspiring, creatively nourishing, as they say. Um, if it can do those things, then that's a big positive compared to feeling like you're like a lesser human being talked down to and should be doing so much more with your life when chilling out watching YouTube videos which I think is just uh, a bizarre feeling to get from YouTube videos that I had often got in the beginning if that makes any sense um, so moving on to some of my favorite YouTubers nice segue who I watch their videos when they upload you know like every single one that type of thing Obviously I'm described to a lot more um, and I dip in and out of those, but favourites are Kira Rose, Good Eatings, Cat Creature and Kamenina. Then more food related creators that I really enjoy are Liv B, A Chill Vegan and So You're Dating a Vegan. Instead of going through each of those channels individually, even I'm sure many of you have heard of some of them, I'll just leave their links below in the description box, but seriously encourage you to check out their videos. 
um, if there is a name that I just said that you're unfamiliar with as like <laughs> these channels like seem to showcase like a relaxed version of themselves with all their quirks and perks jumbled into the mix which is really refreshing and much more enjoyable to spend time with compared to those who you know sort of refine their personality to fit a cookie cutter YouTube mold that puts the YouTuber on such a foreign planet that is kind of hard to relate to. And the balance of wanting to put a well-rounded look at myself in this channel while still infusing uh, some like aesthetic loveliness and actually not too shabby filmography um, is something that I really want to strive more and more towards with each video, definitely. With that being said though, I suppose at the moment I find this channel sort of dancing between trying to be that on the odd occasion and then every other time just trying to be consistent in the content output department. I mean, I try to be consistent because I think you learn by doing and can sometimes stumble upon some really unexpected amazing creative outputs. Like for me, whether that be like a recipe, video, idea, photo or whatever. Um, by just putting your head down and like making creative, creating um, like a regular thing. Um, instead of sort of a formal activity you do once a month. There's this quote by Andy Warhol that I really like about creating, kind of speaks to that, and it's, don't think about making art, just get it done. Let everyone else decide if it's good or bad, whether they love it or hate it, while they are deciding, make more art. And I think at least for me now, and whatever creative thing I'm making, it sometimes isn't even about the finished work itself, but everything else that results in it coming into being, and I know that's really, you know, soppy and soapy about the sort of journey and everything, but I find it to be true. I really admire and look up to like more refined cinematography and storytelling, like so flippin' much. I really do, and it's a really big short-term goal of mine to film like a few short films somehow. Um, apart from that, the big goal or at least theme that I want to move towards is just make vegan food related um, videos that you would find most helpful. I think showcasing recipes that are super straightforward and clumped together into themes or categories is what people really respond to and actually feel like trying out these days on YouTube at least. Like singular recipes, while I believe like it's still really fabulous in the book format, like shameless plug to that cookbook I just wrote, which is eye roll inducing I know, um, I'm still do that from time to time. I think bringing out videos that include like, a couple of recipes to do with theme will be more interesting and helpful to lovely people. I don't know, let me know. But I think that's what you guys are kind of wanting. And I totally realise that that's a thing people are doing, like Liv B and Caitlin Shoemaker on YouTube. Yeah, I do think I have something to offer um, that's a bit different. Anyway, obviously those videos would have more recipes in them and I still want um, them to be of like the same quality as all my other um, recipes, same deliciousness levels that you guys seem to really enjoy from the feedback I've got from recipes like that one bowl banana bread and lentil sausage rolls and the ramen recipe as well. So I'd still include like more of those vlogs and easier videos like collections of lunches I've been having or whatnot so I can still, you know, continue posting regularly on the YouTube space. Yeah, I can manage like it in between work and university and um, that starts next March, so quite a while till that happens. Um, but yeah, just life as well, like seeing friends and other commitments. I don't want it to take over that much, obviously. Um, keep a balance, still striving towards that. But I do think I've gotten better at like not finding it such a stressful chore in documenting parts of my life, um, as really narcissistic as that sounds. Um, like I've sort of brushed off. Um, that early YouTube impression that made me feel like, and again this is all sort of subliminally but I'm only realising it now, like sort of bubbling up and presenting itself as feeling anxious when just like um, filming those sorts of videos and thinking they had to be super interesting and faultless in style and quality, which is kind of just ridiculous. And I think super obvious and boring if you kind of follow that in a way, actually. Like the ups and downs which YouTube invites us to document are what results in like positive connections with viewers and so I don't think that's something to be shying away from yeah obviously I'm still working on that and finding a way to have balance between not being like secretive um, still sharing things yet still being private um, but still being open and honest and true to myself 
online. Hmm, that sounds a bit easy. I think I'll leave it there, honey bunches. Thanks for listening to my rambles on the topic of everything YouTube. And feel free to leave any comments below. I hope you're enjoying the HBOT 12 Days of Xmas so far if you've been following along. And I'll see you tomorrow. Also, I just wanted to share that like, if you're feeling down about your creative spirit and its worth in particular, I highly encourage you to take a peep at this post by the lovely Nina from Kam and Nina um, that she posted on her Instagram. It kind of reminds us all that we have a creative voice in this really overcrowded world we inhabit that is, that is worth sharing, um, even if we feel like everything has been done before and what we have to offer isn't unique enough or different to everything done before. And yeah, I'll leave that link below as well. Take care, honey bunches.